This video is not intended for experienced paramotor pilots and has been produced for those seeking information regarding beginner winds in the training and beyond environment. The opinions in this video are based solely on those of Fly Guy Alberta. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is kind of like a, a test day. I have a brand new paramotor, which we're hopefully going to fly if the winds work out in the right way. And what I really wanted to do today was do a comparison between two a wings so i have uh been flying and teach on the dudic nemo which i love this wing I, you've heard me talk about it it is uh everything that i look for in a wing to learn on but then even just to have for my forever flying arsenal of wings in the treasure chest in the toolbox so this wing uh it's a a new design it was uh a 2020 uh design for the nemo 4. and um what i'd like to do is just do a comparison between this one and we have here to try out today is uh b g d magic this is a bruce goldsmith design wing they were uh nice enough they contacted me and said hey would you be interested to try out some of these wings i'm like yeah i would like i'm always open to trying new gear seeing what's out there um because not everybody has the opportunity to have all this equipment at their disposal. And so I, hopefully I can share with you guys the difference um, and at least to show you from this platform without having to spend a whole bunch of money. Anyway, so this is what I have typically been flying on and teaching on. Love it, this is the Dudic Nemo. And uh, we have some wind this afternoon, which is nice. This is a 28 meter Nemo. So I just want to give you a quick close up show of what this looks like. Okay, let's get it centered up. And we'll pop this up. Okay. So this is the Dudic Nemo. Very easy to learn on, easy to kite, easy to fly once you kind of get to that stage of flying. And I think these two wings are about the same size. So I'm just gonna maybe lay them down side by side and see, just to kind of do a comparison. Okay. Okay, and this one, this is a BGD Magic. Uh, size medium large, so they don't go in the square meters per se, even though that it does have the size listed on the um, little placard there. I think this is a 20, I think I wanna say a 22.9. Um, so perhaps a little smaller, but let's pop this one up. And we'll just have a look at it. So first observation I see, there's a little bit of difference in this leading edge. See how there's kind of like uh, some half moon shaped entrances into the leading edge. It still has kind of that rigid shark nose technology in it. We have split A risers, pop this one up. One thing that I notice is um, the top of the lines, I probably can't see it from this vantage point, but they're unsheeted lines in the top end. That just means they don't have that little coating on it. It doesn't make any functional difference. It just theoretically uh, makes the wing a little lighter. 
All right, we'll set this one down. We'll do a little side by side here. So the magnets are a little different on this one. It has like, uh, there's still magnets, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little clip thing there. So that's a, like a clip magnet. Uh, not a, it's kind of a cool design. You know, like you can go straight in the top, uh, but to disengage it, you have to pull it kind of down a little bit. So that is kind of, these, um, they shipped me the, the wrong risers. This is not a paramotor one. This is a, a free-flying one, but uh, it should be coming within the next day or two, so I'll do an updated uh, review, but it's not really different other than there's no trimmers in here, but essentially the risers are the same. So really simple risers, which I do like for learning. And here's a look at the, the Dudek Nemo. Again, uh, a little bit of a different system. Essentially the same three riser system with your split A's. And the brakes I really like on these is just a magnet, like this. Uh, so I like those. And again, trimmers on this one, which we will be getting on that, just for this testing. All right, so this is a 28 meter uh, A glider, 85 to 130 kilos. So essentially the same size and weight, weight range. I'm just taking a note of these little reinforcements where the A's are put into the wing. Then we'll go over to this wing. Just kind of do a comparison. Little different design. Okay, again, size medium, large, weight range is 88 to 133 kilos. So essentially the same size of wing. Top and bottom ribs, just a little different design in that front end. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but. Now, when I talk about those lines, so you can see these lines are, they have kind of like a, a little shell around the Kevlar line up to this joint. And then from this joint up to the wing, they don't have a, a sheathing on them. So that's what I was talking about. Whereas you look at the Dudek wing and they have the coating on them but it goes all the way up to wherever it hooks into the wing. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I like them because it does kind of make them a less prone to tangling. But, you know, functionality wise, um, that's really my only observation. Okay, so we're just gonna hook in. We'll try some kiting and see how that is gonna look for us. Okay, we still got some wind. I'm only wearing this helmet just so that I can capture the audio through the uh, GoPro on the top of my head. So, we'll just hook in for a reverse on this wing. Try it out. Okay, so we'll bring the wing up. Oh, lots of wind. Okay, so reverse kiting. Seems pretty good. It seems to like it wants to hang back a little bit. And we are off and flying. Okay. So, 
Okay, so I quickly want to jump into the other one so I can just do an analysis of some differences. So both of these wings are kind of the the uh, learning wing of the each product line. So that is for free flying and for motor flying as well. They just uh, switch up the risers a little bit and put on motor risers. Okay, so there's the magic. Now we'll clip in to the Nemo. And of course, I'm really used to this wing. I've flown it, not this one specifically, but the wing for hundreds of hours. So I know the wing. You see that it kind of has a double loop here, uh, which is, I wish they would just take this one away because it's, to me it just gets in the way. It's supposed to be there for different hang points and stuff, but we always use this this top one. So if you're listening, Dudic, can you redesign this riser just to take away that loop? Because it's just kind of a, a little tab in the way. Okay, so we're gonna hook in for a reverse on the Nemo. Okay, so when I pop this one up, again, lots of wind. Feels like it has more lift than the Magic. Wind is, I'd say right now our winds are at about 12, gusting 15. And only, yeah, you know. Okay, so this one just feels like it just wants to stay over my head. Okay, I'll set her down. I'm gonna jump back into the magic. and look at beginner wings. I am thinking about the student. I'm thinking about what is gonna make their experience and their workload as easy as possible. So that's why I'm not 100% convinced with this one as yet. Um, it's nice and light. I like that, you know, that it's a light wing. Um, it inflates easy, but you need lots of A's. And then once it gets up, you know, like, yeah, it wants to fly, but it just has a tendency just to set back just a little bit. And so, you know, I think once you know the wing, yeah, okay. But it just feels like it just wants to just hang back a little bit. It's like it's a little reserved, you need that forward momentum. That's observations on the ground. So let's get up in the air and see what it does. This is Vail Traffic, this is Paramotor, India Lima Yankee, Juliet. Just gonna be doing some training exercises about a half mile west at 3,500 and below. It is Vail Traffic. I think he knows where I'm at. Okay, only thing left to do now is fly it. First flight on the BGD Magic. And the first flight on the new Phoenix 132. Uh, the 132 meaning the diameter of the cage. Just a little smaller 
cage. This one has a 125 centimeter prop. All right. Let's rock and roll. Alright, first impressions are that uh, easy launch. Alright, we've been up here for just a couple of minutes so far. Uh, it feels really stable so far in flight. So we're just going to go up, we'll gain a bit of an altitude, and we'll just try a couple of maneuvers up there. Like I said, today we're flying the Kangook Phoenix K2. We're using the APCO SLT harness which has a built-in reserve, which is uh, really nice, I like it. So let's try a couple of wing overs and see how she does. up see if it'll settle in yeah it does so first observations are the brake pressure is very stiff uh, which I like especially for beginners because you know exactly what you're feeling and but you have to really you would have to bury these brakes to induce any type of a dangerous spiral or a stall all right, so initial first impressions are I like the way that it flies. Um, it feels very, very stable. You know, it recovers from the turns very easily. I do feel a little bit of, of torque on my climb out. Um, not sure that could be because I'm flying a brand new paramotor as well and we just might need to tweak that a bit. So overall, I'm going to give this wing about a six and a half out of ten uh, the only thing I love the way that it flies I feel very good in flight um, I'm gonna have to do some more kiting with it to see how that really feels you know and try it in some different winds and in some different conditions but my initial feel when I'm flying this is uh, it almost feels stiffer than the Nemo even. I find the Nemo, uh, the brake pressure is not as stiff as this Magic. So that's good and bad. I guess it's a little bit of preference. And I guess it's good to have that option. I don't know. We'll also have to wait until we get the paramotor risers because I think that will... Uh, make things feel different as well. Maybe that's why, because I'm feeling a little bit of this torque. So we'll see how the, mold, the, the risers feel when we got some trims on there. And we're gonna give it another fly or two. But first impressions, um, yeah, I like it. A few things that I notice of difference in that I guess the kiting's uh, just different. Maybe I have to get used to it. The magnets um, I don't like quite as much as the Dudek magnets because like they're very specific that you got to kind of match them right up. Whereas I find the magnets on the the Dudek wings are very big and almost dummy proof, and it just allows you to 
clip those magnets easier. Minor details, I know, but just observations. Yeah, but the way that it flies, it's like I said, the brake pressure is noticeably different. It's very stiff uh, and forgiving. To have somebody do an unintentional spiral or stall would be near impossible on this thing, which is a good thing. Okay, it's early the next morning, and uh, in all fairness, what I should do is also kind of give, I'm trying to be objective and impartial, because ultimately, I'm just trying to make things as easy as possible for the students. That's why I'm always exploring new equipment, because there's always new products, there's new developments, there's new technology, things are improving. And so I think one has to be always exploring, trying out new things, keeping up to date, sticking with what works, and finding solutions for things that can be improved upon. Anyway, in fairness of objectivity, I should at least show you an in-flight demo of the Nemo as well. It's a crisp November morning. Hence why we are layered up a little bit. We got a few moose observers. Okay, we're up and we're flying the Nemo. We'll just kind of give you a little bit of comparison here, but first let's go have a look at those moose. Something you don't see every day, but we'll leave them alone. We don't want to get them on the run or anything. So I just want to try and explain what I noticed as a difference between this one and the Magic. So, stability in flight is pretty comparable. They're A-wings, they're easy to inflate, they're easy to fly. But one noticeable difference that I found was, what I tried to explain is in the brake pressure. So, we'll get up, we'll just gain a little bit of altitude, and I'll just try and show you what I mean by that. Okay, but when we talk about brake pressure, although you you want a beginner wing that is easy to fly, it's forgiving, you also want something that is going to last you, you know, beyond training. And, you know, because you're investing some money and you want it to last you a couple of years, hopefully. And so, when I look at the Nemo, um, Although it's very stable and solid, it also has really good agility. Like it's still a very agile wing. And so when I talk about the brake pressure, um, when I bring in a turn, okay, simple right hand turn. But I feel like the brake pressure is not as stiff and it comes into a turn easier. Yeah. So you can see what I mean in that, you know, it, it's, it wants to roll into a turn. I did find that with the Magic, it's very stiff. And that's what I was trying to explain is that you really got a yard to get it into a roll, to get it into a turn. That's what I was trying to explain. Like, that's good, but that's also maybe not good because it's, you know, it makes it really good to learn on. But I think you want a wing that you can take beyond uh, your initial training and have fun to fly for years into the future and still feel safe on it and not feel like you have outgrown the wing. And so that's what I find that the, <clears throat> the Nemo kind of fits that category. Okay, we'll just do some really gentle wing overs. 
and I'll just kind of show you what I mean. Okay, so noticeable difference that I find is that the amount of effort that I need to induce those wing overs is less with this wing. The, the magic I find when I describe it as being really stiff, that's kind of what I need. It's like you really got to bring that in those turns to get it. So really good wing to learn on. Um, and maybe uh, it might be good for a lot of new pilots, but I think that if you want something that's good to learn on, and that's something that's still gonna carry you out and beyond your training, you know, something like the Nemo 4 is a really good fit. And that's and that's why that's why I use this rig. You know, I, I like I really like it. I still love flying it today, it's a lot of fun. You know, so I want to give a shout out to the Bruce Goldsmith Design for letting me try their wings. I think they are a great wing. Um, and it would be really well suited for the right individual and the right type of flying. For where we're at, uh, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna stay with this for now. I think it's a really solid, beginner wing and beyond. I think it's an underrated wing. That's my own humble opinion based on my own experience and nothing else. So take that for what it's worth. So again, thank you to BGD and thank you for watching. Till next time guys, fly safe, take care. Oh, and if you guys can, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Let me know your experience on what wings you guys learned on. Because knowledge is power, so let's share it. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Stay up there and fly. That's what we want to see.